Alright guys, so we are basically going to be introducing to you guys a brand new build. You guys have seen it on TikTok and, and all that stuff if you guys follow us on there. But, here it is. I said we do a lot of Corollas. You know, currently we have three of them. And it's only going to get worse and worse. I like Corollas. My homies like Corollas. We know how to work on Corollas, so we go and build Corollas. Um, this is a 1985 GTS. Uh, currently, this car needs to have a 4A GZE in it. Uh, this car put out around 330 horsepower. Um, and then, or not 380, it was like 280. The guy's goal was like 300. Um, and he wanted it, so he actually pulled the GZE out to build a fully built 4A GE motor and then put back in here and he was gonna go high compression boost but luckily it ended up with your boy and you know what we're going back stock it's gonna run right we're gonna stock harness stock ecu stock motor stock internal stock head and she's gonna run i want all 130 horsepower um with uh, reliability no trigger wheels no custom harness none of that nonsense we're going back stock boy and I want to enjoy something, man. I'm so tired of four bank of cars that make shit for power, and then they still give me a headache. So I want a normal car. I don't know what it is about Corollas, but like compared to a Honda, it's the same build, but yet for some reason we have to go through fucking EDIS, and trigger wheels, custom harness. Man, fuck that. <laughs> Why can't they be like Hondas, you know? Look at all those Honda guys. Their B-Series run for the last 15 years. Why ain't our 4 A's doing it? And I really hope in the coming future that we figure out how to make a 4A more reliable. And in my opinion, I, I did it. Hell, I spent damn near what a standalone cost uh, for the stock harness. And, I mean, it sucks. I'm just excited to actually just be able to drive it. I don't want no power. I don't care. I want a stock, clean car, and that's the goal. And I think we'll be able to accomplish it. Uh, what I ended up going with the motor, it's, I, I'm gonna have like $3,500 in this 4 AGE. And I'm not even kidding. It, from buying the extra pistons, the rings, the labor, uh, cleaning up the motor, the price of the motor, you know, it's literally, I'm gonna have like 3,000 bucks in a 4A. And, you know, is it gonna be worth it? Hopefully, you know, time will tell, but, I'm just ready to get this thing on the road. I have another project out of the way. Um, everything is like coming together actually, which is really enjoyable. And I love the color of this car. Um, it's complete interior, minus like some back seats and the rear rear, uh, rear hatch plastics. But you give us enough time, we'll find it. If someone does end up, end up buying it off me beforehand, you know, um, I am gonna be selling my Corollas cause I am Rotating inventory and stuff as much as it's nice to keep everything you gonna have to start letting stuff go That's another day starting off a lot of people are gonna be here working today uh, This time we are working on this 86 Another GTS hatch uh, Getting a stock 4a back in it so getting that thing going we're gonna break down the motor one more time he wants to hone out the cylinders and stuff we're doing the valve stem seals everything over here so here we go we have another entire head just for parts basically oh.
stuck in there. So I'm hoping when I put it in the tank, freeze it up like the heat will make it expand. Okay. So it may free it. Hmm. It's not it's not moving. It's not turning anything. So I want to make sure that things I need it to. So I put the valves and everything so it's nice and Oh, right here, let's run the um, seal. Oh, they don't look OEM. They look OEM? Yeah, they always change at some point. Yeah. I see it all tore up. No, the valves look bent or anything like that, right? No, that's my fucking idea. No, no, that was bent. Only one was kind of. That should be fine. Yeah, because the whole head starts going like this. Yeah. <laughs> You're not missing it. Well, if you want to, since we have that other head, if you want to kind of go through and check those mm -hmm. and maybe pull so we'll up. see how these seat. I'll lap them and um, we'll see how they seat. And it seat good and it pulls, um, pulls vacuum and it should be good. That's it. All right, I'm going to put the retainers in here too, but this bag, I don't know, it might pull out. Oh, shit. <laughs> that Milwaukee, uh, I've never had one disappoint like that. Damn. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got 15 of these shrimps in here, remind me. It's on camera. I got one in the head. I want to head so far in the tank. Hopefully, so. All right, well, you got one engine saying that's completely overkill for this 4AGE, so. Man, brought an engine stand for a freaking V12. Said the legs fold out, though. Mm. <laughs> so we got our work cut out for us today. You know, I'm, I'm gonna let Spencer focus on just getting what he knows how to do done, you know? I don't have to babysit him, so that's why he's awesome. And then uh, we got Remy over here, who again, doesn't need any babysitting. And uh, we're gonna let him do what he's doing. And uh, this is gonna be probably two videos filmed in one day, um, 186 and the GTR. So we'll have, I think we already have enough for a GTR video by the time this gas tank gets dropped. Um, and then, you know, by the end of like Tuesday, I would say that, um, the 86 should have a video up. So, y'all yeah, be on the lookout. All right, Remy, give him the run now. What are we doing? Or what you doing? We're going to take all the pistons out, horn the block, um, clean it up, slap everything back together. Hopefully the uh, bearings and stuff are all good. You going to put the tiny bearings? If they need it. If not, we'll leave those. Yeah, we'll check all the bearings, make sure all that stuff's good, and slap everything back together. We'll check the, uh, the block to make sure that it's straight. True, so the straight edge across it, check it, check it, make sure it doesn't, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that should be it. Slap everything back together, put all the new seals, you know. I got and I bought shop racks for us too, for us when you clean shit up on the motor specifically. Right, right. I don't know how I forgot an engine stand. I bought so much. I spent four hundred and eighty six dollars uh -huh. last night at Harbor Freight. Small right. journal, sixteen thousand. So the. The diameter of the uh, journals on the crank. Uh -huh. They're only 
can't remember exactly, but uh, they're, they're much smaller than the later ones. The later ones have a bigger journal. On the later ones have a, but this is this 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 motor came out of supposedly in '87. Well, GTS went all the way to '88, didn't it? Up until there, there wasn't an actual '88. This came out of a. Yeah, this came out of a rear-wheel drive. '87. Yes. Maybe it was one of them years just before, you know how it, um, they split the year. Toyota be doing the craziest stuff with their motors. Every year is different. Bolts are different. Cranks are different. Rods are different. Same motor, but everything different. Yeah, this is a small journal. 16 valve. That's why the rod looks so puny. Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a good thing we took it all apart. This is an all-motor car, so... Hmm? This is an all motor car, so it should be a good thing. Rev nice and uh, fast. Look how easy that's been. I need to put a dial gauge on this and check the um, the end play. Make sure we don't have a bunch of uh, play in the crank. That's not crank. That's crank. What's the right word for that? Crank what? It's not crank walk. Crank slip? Is that what that's called? The back and forth play? End play. Oh, okay. That, yeah. that, okay. Crank that's is when you, when you step in your clutch and the whole damn crank moves. No, no I was just thinking about what you were talking you about, the right the terminology. Yeah. yeah. So we put a dial gauge on it and then we'll check the end play. Make sure we don't have to take this thing back out. Who, uh. Three blue plus bearings and you're like going back stock, stock. Stock harness, stock ECU. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do some sort of custom wiring though because you said that the body harness on that car got altered or something like that when you worked on it years ago. No, 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 no. It, it wasn't altered. That's what I'm saying. If, it, if it's that car, then it didn't modify the body harness. All it did this was car right here is the one that had the GTS dash harness with just like two or three plugs that were ran everywhere. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't do this. Hmm? I didn't do this car. You did. Really? This is the car that had the black top on it that kept getting messed up. And then we pulled a silver top motor. Oh, I put the motor in this. Yeah. All the wiring. I didn't no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. You did not. You did not. Yeah. You <laughs> didn't chop up the wire. Yeah. God. Look how nice that spin. Spin. Yeah. Yeah, it spins really good. That's just the um, timing belt. Yeah. Somewhere. Which you're not going to use, right? No. Got a blade? Around here somewhere. Damn, that's nice. Yeah, just the bottom end was probably worth alone what I... Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Wow, don't worry. We're going to be stocking these four AGEs. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Let me find a GTS Corolla, Remy. What's going to happen? <laughs> What's going to happen? Yep. Oh, wait, whoops. I'm filming the wrong way, man.
We want to keep that spacer on there, right? Huh? What'd you say? Has to be. What? So that everything lines up when you put your injectors on and stuff like that. This is factory? Yes. Oh. No. This is a replacement for the factory, but you need it. It comes with the TG, TGV, that's that valve, those movable valves. They're normally in here. This is a delete. You can't just take the valve out and just put the map on. So are we going to put the valves back in or run the delete? This is the delete. I know, but I'm saying, are we going to keep it deleted or are we going to put it back in? Because no, I no, have... No, you can keep it deleted. I have both. No, no, you can keep it deleted. The e series on okay. But it's vacuum operated anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't add power? No, there's no power to it. There's a vacuum line that goes to it. Yeah. No, I'm saying, but does it make it sound cooler or do anything cool? No. This is more power. This, the TGV allows it to get more low-end torque. But with it in there, it's like a limitation for your horsepower when you're topping. Okay, cool. Because it blocks the airflow. Well, because I, I mean, I have both things. I'm just saying, so we can choose. Right, let's take this, uh, Unless if you want to keep it so No. And you can stop. No, I like this car. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If it's stock and it running good, you think I'm going to stop driving it? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this car this way because of this car right here. Maybe both of them. So he's taking all of the parts with him. He's gonna hot tank them at his house. Um, and uh, he's taking the entire head, an intake manifold, a couple of the other parts. And gonna get them cleaned up, looking better. So it's uh, it's been a rough time getting everything sorted with this motor specifically. Uh, since this video was filmed, we have bought brand new piston rings. We bought brand new pistons. We've also gone to the machine shop because of how the the piston rings uh, go into the rods. So that's more money. On top of that, we've also had to order the rings and stock motor you think it kind of would have gone back together easier but here we are throwing more and more money at it like anything it's always going to end up costing more so in the result in the end in the end results guys just you bought a junkyard motor this is what's going to happen may not turn into a cost effective thing that you were looking for so you know let this be a lesson but Things can always be fixed. At least the block's usable. So, you know. Tune in next time as we assemble the motor.